What is up, AI Alchemists, and welcome back to the lab. You've seen us wrestle pixels into 2D masterpieces, but today, today we're adding a whole new dimension. We're diving headfirst into the wild, rapidly evolving world of image to 3D AI generation. I've got four digital gladiators ready to throw down. Trippo AI, Rodent AI, Meshi AI, and the powerhouse Hunyuan 3D 2.5. We're going to feed them the exact same images from our friendly neighborhood Spooter Man to intricate mechs and see who can sculpt the most impressive 3D models. Who will reign supreme? Whose mesh will be a mess? Let's find out. Buckle up. This is going to be a 3D roller coaster. All right, first up to the plate, we've got Tripo AI. Let's see what kind of 3D magic it can conjure. And for our first test subject, none other than our beloved Spooter Man. Yeah, you heard me, Spooter Man. We're keeping it light, folks. Now, Tripo AI has a bunch of settings you can tweak, but for this initial throwdown, we're leaving everything as default. Keep it fair, keep it simple. All right, moment of truth. Press generate and we wait the digital clay is being molded. The algorithms are algorithming. And here we go, our Tripo AI Spooter Man. Okay, let's take a look. From the front, the textures actually look pretty good. Nice and clean, but uh-oh. Let's spin him around. The back is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Classic AI move. It clearly didn't have an image for the back of his head, so it's kind of improvised. Now let's talk mesh. You know what, the mesh looks pretty decent. I think it's actually pretty good. Especially if you were considering something like 3D printing this little guy. With a bit of cleanup, of course. Hey, let me know in the comments if you want to see that 3D print result. If there's enough interest, I'll totally do a post on it. So for Spooderman, pretty good result from Tripo AI, if we conveniently ignore the back. And check this out, you can download the model in various formats. OBJ, GLB, the works. And there's even an option for Retopo as well. If you're chasing those clean quads, looks like you might need to pop it into something like 3DS Max. And yes, you can also download an STL for 3D printing. Very handy. Okay, let's move on to the next example for Trippo AI. Our anime figurine will call her Anime Chan. All right, Anime Chan by Trippo AI is, mmm. The face doesn't seem quite right, does it? A little off there. Other than that, the textures don't look that bad, actually. Let's see the mesh. You know, honestly, the mesh looks pretty good, I must say. The details it captured are pretty impressive. So a bit of a mixed bag on this one for Trippo. Next up for Triple AI, the Mecha Robot. Let's call him Bolt Brain. Okay, Bolt Brain is here, and on the first glance, it looks pretty good. The textures are definitely on point. I can see some irregularities, like the foot here is a bit melty. But hey, from a single image, this is looking pretty decent. And the mesh is also quite detailed as well. Overall, a fine model from Triple AI for our Mecha, I must say. All right, shaking things up. Now let's test Rodan. AI. Heard some interesting things about this one. Starting again with our main man, Spooter Man. Okay, click generate and then we click confirm. Little two step there. Now generate materials. Let's see what Rodan cooks up. Okay, Rodan Spooter Man. Again, the back is not correct, but I'd say it's a little less messy than Trippo's attempt, so slight improvement on the posterior mystery. Overall, the texture looks good, but the mesh, it seems to lack a bit of detail though compared to Trippo. A little smoother, maybe less defined. All right, move on to our next example for Rodan AI. Anime Chan, the figurine. And Rodan's take again, the face is not quite right. What is it with these AIs and faces, huh? And I can see some abnormalities in the texture as well here. Hmm, a bit disappointed with this one from Rodan, I must say. Okay, let's move on to Rodan's next model. Bolt Brain, the mecha. At first glance, very blocky looking robot. Not much detail here from Rodan on this one. It's looking a bit chunky. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here with the settings for Rodan. If you guys are Rodan experts, let me know in the comments what I should be tweaking. The texture, on the other hand, looks pretty good on this, and the sharp edges in the mesh where they exist also give a very nice touch to the mecha feel. So, some good, some not so good. Next up in the 3D AI arena, it's Meshi AI. Let's see if it lives up to its name. Spooderman, you're up again.
All right, drag and drop the image, press generate. Okay, so Meshi AI does something a little different. It gives you four generations at a time and you can choose which one you like and confirm it. Interesting approach. For Spooderman here, I guess I like this one the best. All right, press confirm and again, wait for the final generation. Here it is. For this chibi Spooderman, I think it's a decent result. The texture seems on point, but the mesh seems to lack some details. A little on the softer side. Moving on to the next model for Meshi AI, Anime Chan. Okay, Meshi's Anime Chan. On the first glance, the face seems incorrect, but it is the only one till now which actually created a distinct face, even without major abnormalities. Just not according to the reference image, sadly. So, points for trying on the face, Meshi. Other than that, the mesh seems okay. The hands and face definitely may need some work, but it's fine, I guess. A passable attempt. And now moving on to the mecha, Bolt Brain with Meshi AI. Meshi's Bolt Brain at first glance, the texture looks pretty good, nice and metallic, and the mesh is quite detailed as well. For a hard surface model, it does have quite a lot of dull edges though, not super crisp everywhere. Overall, not half bad from Meshi. All right, the final contender, it's time for Hunyuan 3D, specifically the Hunyuan 3D 2.5 version. This one's got some hype behind it, let's see if it delivers. And you guessed it, Spooderman back for one last spin. Again, drag and drop the image, press generate, and wait for the generation to complete. Whoa! Okay, at a glance, this looks really nice. The texture has a really nice feel to it, very clean. The back, as usual, is a mystery for these models, no surprise there. Still, overall, a pretty good texture. Now, the mesh. Wow. The mesh looks very clean. Cleaner than any of the models till now, I think. Sharp and fine details are definitely present. This looks like the best Spooderman model yet. Trippo AI is just behind though on this one. Very impressive, Hunyuan. Okay, let's move on to our other example, Anime Chan. Hunyuan's Anime Chan again. One more model which can't quite make the faces or maybe it's specifically anime faces these AIs struggle with. That's something I'll have to check and let you guys know in a future video or comment. Other than that, this is also a pretty good model. The mesh is very clean, just like before. Good consistency there. And now moving on to the next example, Bolt Brain the Mecha with Hunyuan 3D. Okay, this is looking good. Really good mesh, very clean. It's very good for hard surface. That I can say for sure. The lines are crisp and the textures are also really good. This has by far the best result for the Mecha compared to even Trip. AI. Honyuan 3D 2.5 is definitely bringing its A game for these hard surface models. All right, 3D Explorers, that's the battle. Hunyuan 3D 2.5 really impressed with those clean meshes while Tripo AI held its own, different tools, different strengths. So what do you think? Which tool won for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read them all. If this helped, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell for more AI craziness. All links and specs are in the description as always. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.